Hello, everyone. Today I'd like to pay tribute to my hometown, Wyandotte, Michigan. According to wikipedia.org, Wyandotte, Michigan is located in southeastern Michigan and is approximately 11 miles south of Detroit on the Detroit River. It is a part of the collection of communities known as Downriver. The city has a total of 7.01 square miles, of which about 5.27 square miles is land and 1.74 square miles is water. Oftentimes you hear people say that everyone knows everyone. This is a generally true statement. The Downriver area itself is a community and a lot of people meet from other cities to play sports, music, and other recreational activities like that. Though it is not a town that many people outside of the state know of, Wyandotte is often described as the heart of Downriver. Wyandotte, Michigan is a waterfront community that sits on the Detroit River. Though it was founded in 1867, it was a village for the Native American tribe known as the Wyandotte in the 1700s. Two of our recreational sports teams, cheerleading and football, share the name Wyandotte Indians. The most common religion in Wyandotte is Roman Catholic. Three of the main churches in Wyandotte are Our Lady of Mount Carmel, which is now known as Our Lady of Scapular, St. Joseph, and St. Stanislaus Kafka. These churches all throw festivals in the summertime to raise money, and regardless of one's religion, there were very great times. Wyandotte has its own public school program, and all the public schools are named after former United States presidents. It also has its own electric, cable, and internet service provider called Wyandotte Municipal Services. Our library, Bacon Memorial, was founded in 1886 and is still up and running today. It sits downtown Wyandotte in a historic home that was donated to make the library. There are plenty of recreational sports teams in Wyandotte, including figure skating, swimming, hockey, baseball, and as mentioned earlier, cheerleading and football. There are also several middle school and high school sports teams, as well as groups that the youth of Wyandotte can engage in. There are several parks throughout the Wyandotte area where people meet for barbecues, sporting events, and art and craft activities. We also have our own golf course, hockey arena, and rowing facility. The golf course is used recreationally and by the high school golf team when the season hits. At the hockey arena, you can find all age groups playing hockey, figure skating, and open skating. The hockey arena can, is also run it out throughout the year for different events. The rowing facility is used throughout the year by high school and other universities and is the host of three local regattas per year. Though Wyandotte is a small place, the downtown area sits on the Detroit River and is very well established and consists of many local businesses, history, and architecture. There are several art galleries and restaurants downtown as well as museums. According to Wyandotte.net, the Wyandotte Museum is dedicated to inspiring and fostering public awareness, interest, understanding, and appreciation of the unique history of the city of Wyandotte and its relationship to the Downriver region. In addition, the downtown area hosts many events. Similar to St. Petersburg, on the third Friday of every month, the streets are closed off and the people can walk around and enjoy the downtown area. The events for the third Friday are themed differently from month to month, and they also have tickets available for purchase for different samples of wine and local beer throughout certain businesses with the ticket purchase. In the summer, the city opens up the Wyandotte Farmer's Market where you can buy locally grown products like herbs, fruits, veggies, and baked goods, amongst other things. The Farmer's Market runs from June through the beginning of October. We also host an annual street art fair every year in the summer in July that, according to Wyandotte.net, has developed as one of the nation's finest art fairs, where 250 jury-selected fine artists representing 30 states and Canada will display their works in a special booth throughout Wyandotte Central Business District for six blocks. The fair typically starts around noon and lasts until about 11 o'clock at night. There are plenty of, there's plenty of food, spirits, live music, arts and crafts for all ages. All in all, I am proud to call Wyandotte my hometown. Though I chose to move away, there is still nothing that compares to it, and there is simply no place like home. In moving away and coming back to visit, I've realized that there is a constant sense of community and togetherness that you can feel throughout the town that I have deeply grown to appreciate. It is also a very resourceful city, as its attractions are used throughout the year for many things. It is rich in culture and art, and has done so much to preserve its history and maintaining a clean, friendly atmosphere. This has a lot to do with the people who live there. Though it is small, it is, it, it is rich in history, art, and community, and it is a very pleasant place to be. Thank you.